to the Civic. <laughs> I've been super excited about this because the Civic really sounds uh, lately just raspy. It's timely fine to change that. Oh, okay. We get a plate right here. Oh, yo! We get a shirt. Hold up, hold up. Let's try this on. Uh huh. <laughs> yo, what? We even get a hat? Yo, that is so sick. We look closely. We even got a key lanyard. Man, this thing come up with everything. Does it come with rent? You can see the muffler is way bigger and the resonator is a little bit slimmer so it's easier for low profile cars. It should help a lot with free flow of horsepower. A little bit of E-Tech too. I'll put a sound clip here to show you guys how the Civic sounds before. <laughs> I don't have a lift, so it makes it a little bit harder. <laughs> we finally got the old exhaust out. Like these are way lighter, so hopefully we could save a couple pounds as well. But now that the old exhaust is out, it's time to put the new bad boy. It was almost near impossible having this, this side of the car lower. I do not have quick jacks or a lift, so take the jack, put it on this side. I would rather get this muffler on first because it seems like it would be the hardest part and then everything else should just line up. We finally did it. As you can see, the old exhaust <laughs> burnt my lip a little bit, a little crispy. Next thing is hang these onto those so that way it's nice and tight and that way the tip is nice and flush against this exhaust. I'm also going to do one more thing. I'm going to put grease onto the hanger. It's just so much easier to have grease in here so it could just slide right in. Without these, it would take me just a little bit more time. So, gotta make the job easier. Work smarter, not harder. Oh yeah, lube that up real quick. Oh. All right, so one problem. This rubber grommet right here, which holds the exhaust so that way it doesn't rattle when you drive. Uh, yeah, it's completely broken. I called my cousin. Hopefully he should pull up here with a new part because obviously I can't take the Civic. Can't take the Miata because it doesn't run. This is car guy problems. My cousin came through. I actually previously had this exhaust fell on me and uh, as you can see this rubber grom is also on its way out. It's cracking which means it could snap at any moment. Alright so after two hours later finally got it done. Dust tip is pretty close to lip but I'm not worrying about the lip too much since it's already burnt. Probably get a new one and then pre-adjust it later on. You can see the shiny parts of the exhaust. It's completely bolted up. Everything is tightened. I am going to try to check for exhaust leaks before I lower this and then after that take this thing finally for a rip. Sounds subtle. Check for uh, exhaust leaks real quick. Should we should we rev it a little bit? Here, we'll rev it a little bit. Now that's how you get rid of the exhaust. Anybody want an exhaust? Kid your boy up. I think this will fit on the bed, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, don't want to make too noise. I think the neighbors already hit me. Let's go for a rip. All right, guys, uh, I installed the exhaust. I think something's rattling. I think one of the lines is rattling, but we'll fix that later. For now, let's do some pulls. Something fell off. <laughs> okay. It definitely, uh, it sounds a lot more tamed. It's not as loud as my other exhaust and it drones a lot less, which is a good thing because I do daily drive this Civic. 
second gear. I also noticed in this video that this car rasps a decent amount on camera but it actually doesn't do that anymore and that's because there is a little break in that you have to do when it comes to this exhaust. It has a way deeper tone than it was before. I think I could not be happier and the fitment looks a lot better on the back so best of both worlds. Comment down below what you guys think of this exhaust and I'll see you guys next time in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, loop that up real quick. Oh. <laughs>